Imagine you and I are having lunch. I look across the table and I ask you, hey, how are your kids? And the moment you start to answer, I say, Brendan is doing fantastic. He's down in Savannah. He's got this film career going. He's doing so well. I'm so proud of him. And then I say, hey, how's your significant other? In the moment you start to answer, I say, oh, Linda's doing fantastic. She just took this trip down to Tampa. She was working with all these real estate gurus. Her business is taking off. I haven't given you one single chance to answer. And what would you think of me? Pretty rude. I agree. Well, as speakers, as storytellers, when we make points in our stories and then ask questions, but don't give people time to answer, it's the same as the scenario I just played out over lunch. When you ask an audience a question, you got to give them time to answer. Otherwise, they're not going to feel the implication of the question. They, they certainly won't be able to have time to answer it, and they won't consider how that question applies to their lives. So make sure when you ask questions that you're giving them time to answer. A great trick I learned from one of my mentors is to answer your own question in your head. Yeah, you know the answer, you've, you've done this before, but just pretend you've heard it for the first time and answer it. That gives them time to answer it also. In the next video, you're gonna hear all about the importance of silence in humor. See you then.